Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you general improvements done in Soycan 2022. I'll open a toolkit and machine preview. The first feature is called uh, flexible data input for Shank, and I'm going to select one of them and focus this tool. In this version, changing the shape of Shank will not affect to its dimension. So I can now change the insert shape here, also the diameter, but it will not affect to its size. Of course, changing the size, it will change the tooltip position now. The next feature that I want to show you is hidden in the connection page. The option available in the mounting gets nice for icons look that allows you to reset the tooltip position as you can see over here or you can set any position relative to it you can use the scroll wheel and in the machine preview will show and dynamically represent this movement i'll click ok and leave the toolkit The next feature that I want to show you is a new available machine options hidden in the Compar data. I will just use the flyout window. And the first change is that we have add the description column here that gives a more description, you know, to your parameters. Another option available is a reset each parameter to its default. So for instance, clicking right click on this parameter, I can reset to its default value. Also, reset all to default will reset all the parameters to its default state. Another feature is available in the channel synchronization. Channel synchronization shows up all available axes for a defined machine. Either that one be the, the kinematic axis or not kinematic axis, there are also a discrete axis. Discrete axis can be like a robot arm, part ejectors, etc. In this version, you can simply hide it by clicking on this button. As you can see, the A4 is the robot arm, and I can just hide it for this case, as they are not relevant for the part programming. And the last feature in this video is located inside the machine setup. So in this example, I'm going to use another machine and open machine preview. There are three new available filters available in machine preview, showing and hiding the fixture, showing and hiding the tool, and also the machine with STL data. So I can hide and show fixtures. I can also hide and show tools and also STL of the machine. Let me just show all tools available. Showing all tools becomes very handy in case of detecting what will be the maximum protrusion length of the part. So I will just put the tool down and now I can work on protrusion length. Another option it's also available in all these boxes where you can put an equation now. So placing the equation will automatically calculate the value. I hope you like these features and see you in the next video.